Well, heading out on my first demo, demo ride. Gonna be riding the Yamaha Nikon right here. See how this does. All right, let's turn it on. Light, in, light front feeling. Lower seat height than the Duke. Alright, it seems fairly easy enough. Very light feeling bike, steering feels light. Doesn't quite feel like you got two front tires up front. Feels actually pretty good. I can actually almost touch with two feet compared to the Duke. Buttery smooth throttle. Yeah, this is actually a comfortable bike. Not so bad holding it on the hill. Got a spot coming up after this red truck. Looks like we're gonna go. I thought we were gonna go. I guess we're gonna wait for the red light. How's that feel? Very light. Yeah. You, you can't feel it. You can't feel it. Wow. It's very odd. Very light handling. Yeah, this thing's actually kind of fucking nice. Go figure. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like it a lot. Very quiet, can't really hear it. Super light front end. You would think you would think with two front tires and four sh forks, um, it would be, have a heavy feel for the steering. But quite the opposite. Um, even compared to my Super Duke, it's 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 lighter than that. Um, yeah, it's got good maneuverability. It's it's plush. The motor is very electric. Um, you know, it's not really abrupt, I mean, again, you know, I'm coming off a 170, 180 plus horsepower Super Duke, but this has a nice feel, very linear. I like it. I don't 
don't know if I'm in the market for it, but it certainly is a conversation piece. I don't really like the Can-Ams and the Polarises, the, the slingshots and stuff like that. They're not my cup of tea. For those that they are, um, cool, but this is vastly, vastly different than that. Plus, it's got saddlebags or hard bags on the back. Probably pretty comfortable with a passenger. Um, yeah, it's 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 kind of fun. Um, I, I like demo rides, but you know, you you you're doing the speed limit. You're with a group. You got to kind of follow some of the rules, um, which is okay. I mean, they're on the hook in Yamaha for big liability. Um, you know, their bikes, somebody wrecks them, you know, that would be horrible. I mean, I know they got insurance, but so it's got to be pretty controlled and pretty moderate ride. But that's okay. I mean, where else? I don't know what this bike stick is for. Probably close to 20. Maybe a little more, a little less, but um, it seems like a nice bike for them. I mean, Yamaha is, is, a, is a good brand. I never heard of too many problems with the Yamahas. All right, we got a nice little sweeping left here, so we're gonna see what this, how this front end feels, with two wheels up front, and it feels like a normal motorcycle. <laughs> it feels like a normal motorcycle. Go figure. And it's only got two tires. I mean, it's got two tires up front. Nice wind protection, decent gauge cluster. You can see everything. The controls are well, well, well mapped out. Mirrors are very useful. I can see everybody behind me. Luckily, these demo, this demo ride today is going through all the back roads of Millbury that I know, so that's kind of nice. Um, I have a little bit of comparison and plenty of motorcycle seat time on these roads. So here we are in fourth gear, cruising along, I don't know, a little, a little over 3,500, no problems, feels nice. A little bit of, you can feel you're kind of right in the, right around 35, you can feel the power is right there. You know, it's a, it's a heavy bike, but it, it does respond to inputs. Again, I can't go crazy with it because, well, you know, got Yamaha police in front and then Yamaha police at the end of the ride. So it's not like I can really do anything stupid. Um, I do know um, on Motorcyclist.com's website when Ari took this bike for a ride, a test ride, um, there was a couple things that he wanted to do with it or see if it could do and uh, one of them was a wheelie and yep, it can wheelie, which has got to be a god awful situation. <laughs> it's got to be fun but hiking that big amount of weight up front and all on that rear tire is, is got to be kind of sketchy feeling. Um, and it can also power slide. He was wondering if it could do that. And yeah, it did. So I don't know if he did a stoppy on it. I think he did that as well. I mean, I guess all that was was to illustrate that, you know, this bike can really pretty much function as a motorcycle. That's, I guess that's what they're classing it as. Even though it's got three tires, it's classified as a motorcycle and thus it, it can do motorcycle-like things. But right now, I'm very comfortable. Just cruising along, not worrying about anything, feeling happy, looking at the guys in back of me. Probably got about six, six test riders, and um, like I said, two uh, two Yamaha demo riders, one leading, one chasing. So I hope we take a right up here because this is my all-time favorite road. Um, I can blitz this road in the Super Duke like nobody's business. Um, I have a feeling we won't be doing any blitzing, but <laughs> it'd be nice. Uh, are we taking it? Nah, we're not taking it. Damn it. You should have went right, buddy. Better road. Way better road. How do you like it? Really? Still feels lightweight, huh? <laughs> 
It's awesome. Yeah, we should have went the other way, but we're going this way, so it is what it is. You missed a great opportunity, buddy, for a great road, but yeah, I mean, it's it doesn't get a lot of instant punch to it. I don't even know what size this bike is, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't even know if it's a thousand. I know it's an inline four, but I'm not sure of the cc's of it. Um, I will say it's adequate. It, it's propelling the bike. So the gears are spaced out. It's not lugging. You can drop down into third. Feels nice and peppy. A little rabbit running across. You don't have to go this way. You could have went that way. Just maybe that's his rules of the road, not my rules of the road. Ah, we're taking this shitty road. Ah, well, it is what it is. It's a free bike. Nice lean in. The front end doesn't do anything stupid. It just works. Stay in second gear, a little, little pep to it. Right around two grand, second gear, four grand, second gear, 30 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you were gonna wheelie this bike, you have to have a feeling it's it's a massive leap of faith in second Battery gear. Level is low. In second gear and dropping the clutch. Uh, but yeah, I just got battery level low warning, so I don't know how long this video is going to last. I mean, shit, right now I could be talking out my ass and not recording or, or taping anything, but I got a little bit of the ride, so that's good. But here we are, having fun. little bit of gravel yeah I got twice the contact patch up front I guess I don't have to worry about that it right, looks like we're gonna take the long way back to the dealership
mirrors are fucking perfect on this bike. That would not be something I would change if I had this bike. Absolutely not. Yeah, you can short shift it, carries it nice, does what it needs to do, just very Yamaha-like, nothing, nothing jumps on me right now that I don't like, I think it's got adequate power, the ergonomics are fine, I mean the reach to the bars, the levers are set up great right now as they are, they, as they are. I'm not really even leaned over, getting no wind blast. The windshield's nice. Um, can, again, I can see the display fine. I'm in an upright position. It's a pretty well thought out bike. And I suppose it has to be. With such unconventional front end on it. Again, a nice little right left corner see how this I mean it just feels like a regular bike it doesn't do anything stupid I, I, I mean I guess if you pushed it maybe you would start to expose some of the front end but I don't know what there would be to expose <laughs> I mean you got double the dampening double the rebound double the compression up there how unless Unless they configure their fork internals differently, being that they got four four legs, uh, maybe two of them are dampening, maybe two of them, the other two are rebound, but uh, compression, yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. I don't know. Uh, fingers are getting a little bit tingly, but nothing out of the ordinary for for me. I wouldn't say it's down to the bike at all. second yeah scoots right around those corners very nicely Quick little test drive, interesting. Definitely get my foot down a lot more. <laughs> 